Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And on this episode of 3B TV, I am going to try something. Well, it's got me a little bit nervous, but it's something that, um, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And what is that? Well, what I'm going to do is instead of taking this um, pile of... Uh, hay and, and manure that I shoveled out of that pig pen and just put it in my compost bin up uh, at, near my garden, I am actually going to take that and move it across the way here and put it in my chicken run. And I'm going to try some, I guess you'd call it permaculture kind of ideas here. Uh, this is something that I've seen on Justin Rhodes' um, channel where he takes the spoiled hay from the cows and he puts it in with his chickens and lets them kind of peck at it and uh, really move the compost pile, so to speak, for him and speed up that composting process. And so I'm going to try that. Um, this is a little bit uh, foul smelling stuff. It is well coated in um, uh, chicken manure. <laughs> and urine and all of that good stuff um, but it should really break down into some really nice um, dark compost that'll be really good for the the garden and so I'm gonna try putting it in there with the chickens and uh, see if they scratch at it if they turn it and uh, how things kind of go um, this is a bit of a I don't know what do you want to say a gamble for me um, and I hope that I'm not making a big mess I'm hoping I'm not going to regret this, especially since my house is right there. Um, but this really, honestly, has worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, these pigs um, ha really have not stunk as much as what I thought they would. When it's wet, they do smell. Um, and right now, they're a little bit more stinky than they were last summer just because they've been cooped up penned up a little bit more and haven't been going down into the woods as much as they normally would and broadcasting um, their manure down in there so um, once I, I kind of get all of this um, spoiled hay and whatnot out of there I think it's really going to start um, freshening up I'm going to take put some more carbon in there to kind of absorb some of the moisture and I think we really should be in a good spot but today that's what we're going to do um, so uh, let's get to cracking So it's about a week later after I uh, put the uh, compost pile here for the um, chickens to uh, work over and honestly it's working out great. In fact, I added some more to it today. Uh, I cleaned out, uh, working on cleaning out another one of the pig pens and uh, so you can see these chickens are really starting to um, work this over really, really well. Now I wanted to make sure that I left enough room in this area so I could turn the pile, I'll turn it that way. Um, and so what I did is over in this other part of their run here um, where I had put some leaves, you can see they've pretty much broken those down. And so what I did is I added uh, another load or another pile over here, again, out of that pig pen and these chickens are uh, really working that over well too so i right now am very very happy with this uh idea so thank you very much justin rhodes so hopefully it should add some really nice compost uh, for us to use in our garden you want to get on camera is that what you want here tell them all about it tell them tell them yep she's reporting live from 3b farm Anything else you'd like to say? Come on, keep telling them. And, and so you like the compost pile? Very, very happy with it? You're very excited about it? Wow. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Boss here is um, very excited about the compost pile. And uh, so what more can you say? You heard it from the chicken's mouth. So until next time, everybody, 
Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Brian again, 3B Farm and Homestead. If you haven't already, please like our channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. Uh, trying to grow the channel and so all the help that you can give us would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day.